Hey, you guys, I'm joined by a very special guest, and this is Derek Uetta. Yep. Okay, so you are the putting coach to a few of our local guys. A couple guys, yeah. Yeah. Um, Xander Chalfillet, Phil Mickelson, Charlie Hoffman, Emiliano Grio, who lives in San Diego now, and Max Homa, which he actually lives in Arizona, but yeah, the few few local guys yeah so I saw you're working with Xander today you also yep. said you worked a lot with Phil last week so tell me what you guys were doing out here last week uh boy we just putted a lot we putted uh Monday Tuesday Wednesday and tried to figure out the greens and all the breaks and kind of just the little nuances that you don't have time to do in a regular tour event so we had plenty of time and he's prepared Phil's Phil's rocking and ready to go yeah, because I think you even worked with him yesterday a little bit. Uh, not yesterday, not yesterday, yeah. but a couple days ago, yeah. So, I mean, I've been I've been on this property since Monday of last week. Yeah. So. And tell me a little bit about how Xander's looking as you were just working with him moments ago on his putting. I mean, he's one of the best putters in the world, so I'm lucky to call him a student. Yeah, he's ready. I mean, his reads are good, and he's, he's rolling it good. So, yeah, all of the numbers look good on all the technology we use, so he's ready too. Yeah, and as far as the course, because you've been out there, and the greens are a big part of what make Torrey Pine so tough. The greens are diabolical. If you hit it in the wrong spot, uh, you're going to have problems. Yeah, so, I mean, if you hit it above the hole and there's a lot of slope, it's, it's going to be tough. Yeah. Yeah, and so obviously this week uh, you're seeing them get hardened up. I mean, that's kind of what you're expecting, right? Yeah, they're starting to get firmer every day. They're getting faster. They're getting firmer. Uh, I'm sure the water's probably been turned off, and they're going to start getting crusty. And by Sunday, they're going to be they're going to be lightning. So. And I think for a lot of people, I mean, you hear it all the time. Putting is where you win championships, essentially. Yeah, I mean, you got to make them. You got to make them when they count. Um, you know, if you're having a great ball striking day, I mean, that can that can make up for a lot. But at the end of the day, the guys making the most putts is is normally gets it done. What's it going to be like for you tomorrow when three of your students <laughs> yeah. are all putting together? Yeah. Are you going to be nervous? Or are you going to be you know watching everybody? You know, I don't I don't really get nervous anymore. Um, they just it's just golf at the end of the day. I mean, you know, my daughter plays golf and I go watch her, and it's just like. You know, she makes par, great. She makes birdie, great. She makes a double, whatever. So I kind of take the same attitude with these guys because, you know, it's their job. It's their livelihood. But at the end of the day, it's 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 just golf. Yeah. yeah. And you're local here in San Diego. So having this in your backyard, yeah. the championship, the open championship, like you said, it would be just storied and historical. If Phil Mickelson's able to pull it off. I mean, it would be incredible. Yeah. It, you know, I, I teach at the Grand Del Mar, which is one of the nicest properties probably in the world. Um, and Phil's a member there, Xander's a member there, Charlie's a member, Emmy's a member there. Um, so to have this kind of thing in our hometown and if one of our local guys gets it done would be, I mean, it would be off the roof. I mean, it would be, the, the hinges off the door would be coming, I mean, it would be, it would be crazy. Okay, before we go, one putting tip, just a general one for somebody like me, okay. what is it that I need to focus on in order to be at my best? Green reading. Um, people talk about stroke all the time. I watch lessons uh, that other people give. Oftentimes it's all about technique, but if you can't read, putting's luck. So, you know, if you put it this way, if you have a poor read and a really good stroke and really good aim, you're gonna miss 100% of your putts. So if you, if you can read them well, that's kind of a place to start. So what I tell people is if you have a breaking putt, Imagine hitting the ball perfectly straight at the hole, see where it misses, and then take that point and flip it to the other side. Because most people just read how they want it to see it go in, not necessarily where it would miss. So that would be a great place to start for just the average player out there. Oh, man, Derek, thank you so much for taking the time, yeah, for course. joining us this morning. Um, he's being modest, but he, he's a big deal. Yeah. He, I'm just saying, guys. Um, and keep an eye on his daughter, who is a future up-and-coming golf star. We'll send things back over to you. Ooh. We'll know she can putt. She'll have a good short game. We know that yeah. for a fact. <laughs> Green reading. Yeah, That's the key. I think the most important thing he said was, mm -hmm. for us, putting is luck. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. that's yeah. truer words have never been spoken. Lady, lady luck is yeah. a good friend to have. <laughs> yeah.